So the lunacy of the world never ceases to amaze me. I did meet two very nice people uh, at the day of door to the hospital. I, I kind of wanted to get up on, she was going to get on the video and then, you know, we thought about it and uh, it could cost her her job. And I don't want to ever cost anybody a job. Uh, I assume she has been vaccinated. Uh, but she did verify that uh, all staff at the hospital who have not been vaccinated will be terminated as of November 1st. Uh, the lunacy in these Democrat states is just knows no bounds. Why in the world, in the middle of a pandemic, you would want to let uh, your staff go? Um, and that's all, that's all staff. Uh, it wasn't just nurses, you know, or uh, I imagine some doctors are probably be leaving also. I, I don't know, you know, you just, because uh, I've met doctors who believe strongly in the vaccine uh, and I've met doctors who do not. So it's, um, you know, it's a huge, huge question. Uh, I've seen a lot of evidence that the efficacy of the vaccine, that's why the boosters are coming about, uh, may or may not uh, uh, last for a long period of time. Uh, we do know that natural immunity uh, does have long-lasting effects so, so far. Uh, you know, there haven't been too many studies on that, but uh, anyway. But I just thought that would be interesting to, since I was going to walk up here anyway and tell the story about my dad, I uh, might as well talk to the, get the, get the, get it from the horse's mouth, right? Because the rumor mill on the trail talking to people was that uh, the hospital here is going to let staff go. Now, I did tell them, you know, tell the nurses to come to Florida and because uh, we can sure use them down there and uh, we have no no mandates. And uh, we'll just uh, let's get back on the trail. I don't think I'll get any more video. That's why I'm taking this right now uh, while I've got some light. Um, so, uh, they, by the way, the guy back there, he's an older gentleman. He did remember my father. So that was good to know that uh, somebody is still alive here in Lynchburg that remembers my father. Uh, so uh, anyway, let's, uh, I'm going to get back on the trail. It'll be nice and dark by the time I get, get, uh, get back to the car. I am going to try to get one, well, one more video because I'm going to actually take a right down here and then that goes back to a, uh, to a bridge. Now one thing I have noticed with the camera is that the battery is half dead and I've been using the, the uh, GoPro for, for two days now. So that indicates to me that my purchase of those extra batteries was a good move for the uh, for the trip. Now here comes a guy, probably a doctor, I bet, jogging. Hey, looks looks like he's in good shape. I don't want to get him on the video. Let's cut off right there. Wanted to get this on the video. Here comes a helicopter, medical helicopter coming in for a landing at the hospital. Pretty cool, huh? That's not cool for the person <laughs> that's on the helicopter, but I do enjoy watching the helicopter. Hey, I did want to add one other thing, uh, you know, because uh, uh, my mom, you know, she has had to go to, to Lynchburg General uh, on an occasion uh, in, in the recent uh, last couple of years. And uh, the service that she got was absolutely terrible. And she swore she, she would die first before she ever goes back to that hospital. So can you imagine <laughs> what the service, I mean, if it was bad back then, Imagine what it's going to be like now when they've let go, you know, who knows how many people are going to are going to be fired, you know. I mean, I, I, I tell you what, I don't want to get sick here in Lynchburg. <laughs> no way, no how. I'm going to be like my mom. I'll die at her house before I go to that hospital. That's for doggone sure. Holy moly. I, you know, because that just hit me because she, she really, I mean, she's adamant about it. She says, I will never go back to Lynchburg General Hospital ever again. Uh, and I said, okay, mom, you know, I'll, I'll obey that. Because uh, she likes Baptist, uh, Lynchburg Baptist Hospital. That's, uh, she likes that one, but they only take certain cases, you know. Uh, and then, of course, I figured I could always run her up to a, another city, you know, like Beckford, maybe. Uh, I don't know what it's like there or uh, maybe even Roanoke or uh, Charlottesville, you know, but... Uh, Shit, you know, depending on what happens, she might die before I can get there, you know. <laughs> especially, especially if you can't call an ambulance, you know. Oh, my God. Uh, these stories come out of here. All right, so I'm going to get, I know the lighting's going to be bad, but I'm going to get one more video when I cross the, there's another bridge on down on the trail. And I'm going to get that, that bridge on the, on the video. Uh, and that'll probably be all I can do today because uh, the lighting is just, just too bad at this point. All right, peace out. So while I got some light, uh, I figured I better tack this on while I was thinking about it. So in that conversation back there with the people that work at the hospital, um, it's something I never thought of. And, uh, you know, I mean, 
it's amazing to me. Uh, they, uh, well, they, they seem, they're really in tune with the electric system here in Virginia. And they said that uh, through an audit, there's 25,000 dead people that voted in the last election here in Virginia. And the Democrats refused to clean up the voting uh, rolls. Uh, now you, you take, you take from that what you want. <laughs> Why would you refuse to eliminate 25,000 dead people from the uh, voting rolls? Hmm. Hmm. And, you know, so uh, if they could actually get a Republican in there, uh, we could have a purple state here in Virginia because I imagine the Republicans will clean up those voting rolls and get the dead people off of the, uh, uh, get all those dead votes out of the uh, system. So even though the absentee system, and I was complimenting that in a previous video, was pretty solid, I did not think about all the dead people. <laughs> how they could, that's how, you know, I, you know, well, I just, I, I just, I'll leave it right there. You, you form your own opinion on that. Why wouldn't you want to take 25,000 people, dead people off the voting rolls, mainly in Northern Virginia? Hmm. Hmm. The, uh, the second bridge that I was telling you about, and I, uh, one thing I haven't done, maybe I'll come back and do it. Oh, shit. The bridge is closed. Huh. Well, yeah, I can see why. <laughs> look, look, it's falling apart, man. Holy moly. Well, you know what? I, like I said, eventually I'll come out somewhere in Lynchburg and, uh, so we'll just keep on going. What the hell? I might might not get back to the car till 10 to 10 o'clock tonight. <laughs> it's not even six o'clock right now. So, uh, but uh, and more than that, you know, I guess the good part is I'll get in this this portion of the uh, the uh, Blackwater Creek uh, Trail because I have never well I've walked it on the other side, but I've never walked it on this side. In fact, uh, never mind. This will have to come up to the uh, railroad uh, trestle. Uh, I'll get that if I have enough light. I'll get that on the video. So this will come up right there a little a little further than I planned on hiking because I was going to go across that bridge back there, and that'll put me back on the paved bike trail and and then I can just hike back to the car. So no big deal. Uh, but uh, it is uh, it is interesting that I end up doing something I've never done before. Uh, you know you can see it's just a road, but at least in kind of gravelly too. You know hard on the feet. Um, but, uh, but at least, uh, you know, at least I'm getting a good hike in, a lot, lot better than what I had planned. Uh, and, uh, very interesting conversations today. Learned a lot. Looking forward to the uh, election. I'm glad I'm here in Virginia to cover it and every, all the shenanigans that are taking place. Got a squirrel coming down. Woohoo! Always like to get the wildlife. Yeah, you probably can't see him. Well, you can see, at least I want to get to show you some of the rocks. There he is. He's still moving around. But uh, some of the rock formations, you know, uh, that we have uh, here and in the mountains. Um, so, uh, we'll uh, get the train trestle on the video and I'll do the mantra and that'll be it. Further along, uh, you know, seeing that bridge out kind of, you know, hit me in the head. I mean, and I've said this in, in a lot of videos, you know, and, and I really don't understand it. Uh, you know, when these park services, and, and are you true in Florida, you know? Especially in Florida, it's even worse than here in Virginia. Uh, I don't know why they don't use composites that'll last a long time instead of wood. Because you know, even treated wood is going to rot out pretty quick and, and just sits in the forest under a tree canopy and just, you know, rots, rots, rots. You know, so that's, uh, that's always baffling to me. Now, I have seen where some places like uh, in Inverness there and when we did the, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the park. Uh, but uh, we did that park there, Cove Park, I think, and uh, and they did replace all the wood with uh, composite. So that, but that was the first time I've seen, you know, common sense uh, when you're when you're building uh, bridges or ramps or docks or whatever. You know, the composites now, I would dare say, is probably as cheap as the wood. You know, because of lumber prices, you know, skyrocketing with inflation. So just a thought. Anybody in the park service ever watch one of these videos? And that's and also the national parks, you know, they'll build stuff out of wood. Uh, I've I've been on, uh, well, at Al Royal, there were there were huge bridges that went for you know half a mile, all made of wood. You know, you know they're not going to last. Um, anyway, just just thought as a hike along. 
as I hike along, I bet this probably goes back up to uh, to uh, the uh, another neighborhood, probably. So you know, if you did get caught down here in the dark and just didn't want to continue hiking on this side, to me, it's just a road anyway. So um, I mean, it is marked as a trail because you can see that the, they got the marker signs. Those are all new. Uh, I've never seen them before. Uh, pretty cool that they got them though. Um, but uh, I'm just going to just finish this out and then hike along the. Uh, the bike trail to get back because that is a pretty pretty hike at night and uh, usually I won't be able to get it on the video because I'm not going to get a dark video this time uh, but I usually see a lot of deer um, and of course you know all around me things are rustling that because things move at night you know that's uh that's why I like uh, the evenings and, and the night because usually you'll get more uh, more wildlife uh, you know in maybe not on video but at least uh, I'll get to see it all right so I imagine I should be coming up on that train trestle here shortly and uh, we'll cut this video back on there because I did want to show that to you. I wanted to get a clip of the creek but I also saw this. I wonder what they're doing there. Maybe they're going to redo this uh, sewer line somehow. I don't know. But why are they cutting all that down? You know, curiosity. How many times have you heard me say it? The hike you get is not the hike you expect. Man, I've been hiking quite some time. And uh, I can't believe I, maybe I somehow missed the train trestle. I don't know. If that's the case, then I guess I'll be going all the way to Holland's Mill Dam. Uh, that's going to be one hell of a hike. <laughs> I might not get back till midnight. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd make another clip here as I move along. Nice, nice rock over here, huh? Little uh, ravine that empties into the, the creek. Uh, we'll get that on the video, and then I'll shut this clip off. Let's get the ravine on the uh, on here. Pretty cool, little creek. Yeah, and that's uh, you can see there's the there's the creek on the left, just flowing along. All right, I was right. I'm coming up on the train trestle. I just seem like a long ways. I mean, I'm not tired or anything, but I, I don't know, maybe it's because I didn't bring my headphones today. I just wanted to listen to the sound of nature here. But a uh, little, little couple stories about that train trestle. And I don't know how many people, but back in the day, I was, uh, a lot of people would take the dare to, to cross that. Uh, and, uh, uh, and back then that was a pretty active train line. I, and it still is to a certain degree. Um, and uh, a lot of times that train will come while they're trying to get across it and uh, they get killed. So I don't know how many people have died trying to hike that train trestle. You know, I, one thing I would have, you know, thought would have thought Lynchburg might wanted to, to do is to build onto that, uh, you know, walkway or something. But then I guess you would be mighty close to a train that came through there. But let's get it on the video from i've never seen it from down here or from this side you know the bike path by the way the paved bike path would be just up there uh i'm not sure how i would get up to it if there's not a trail up to it because you're not going to hike through that <laughs> you know? so i may be on this road for a while longer but i this is where i, I would have thought they would cut in something up to the bike path the paved bike path from here um i could be wrong like I said, I've never hiked this before, so this is uh, real interesting. Here's another creek flowing underneath with a nice concrete pad here. And there's the uh, creek going, more, more view of the train trestle. But uh, always good to tell stories, you know. But uh, one of these days, I maybe I can go not Google it, but duck, duck, go it tonight and figure out how many people have died on that bridge right there. Because I know, I know of at least two for sure, and I think it's probably more by now. All right, shot. Here's another shot from underneath the uh, the train. And uh, you know, you ever wonder how in the world mankind can build something like that? I mean, that's I don't know how old this thing is. Been here as long as I can remember. But that is one marvel of construction, isn't it? I mean, that is just a masterful feat. Yeah, and here's the other side heading back this way. Now you can see. I could try to go up that to get to the bike path, but 
I don't think I'm even going to think about trying that. I'm just going to keep going. I might as well get the whole Creekside experience here in. But uh, let's get the, the trail from the other side. Now, if I was on the other side of the creek, see right here, there's a trail right there that goes up to the bike path that you can take. Uh, but, uh, of course, I'm not on the other side of the creek and no way to get up to the bike trail. So I guess I'm going to get a lot more of the uh, bike path in than what I anticipated because I have a feeling I'm heading all the way down to Hollins Mill Dam and that's going to be one hell of a hike back but I did want to get one more thing on the video here because uh, it's going to get too dark but there's the uh, there's the bike path there going across that bridge uh, and that's uh, built on the foundation of where the train used to run here in Lynchburg and I've got that on other videos so yeah yeah, I'm heading all the way, <laughs> all the way down, man. Well, at least I got the whole Creekside Trail in. You got to see it. Uh, maybe, uh, I'm hoping this is coming out. It's getting pretty dark on me, um, but uh, we'll see when I get home. Dark on me. I wanted to get these rapids on the, uh, the video before it gets too dark. Uh, you know, I wasn't anticipating. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm looping back onto the bike trail, just below the uh, the bridge. I know exactly where I'm at. I'd always wanted to hike that trail, so I'll be heading right over to the bike path. Good, good. I I was hoping I wouldn't have to go all the way. Well, I kind of was hoping to go to Holland's Mill because they used to have a water fountain there. And I think I'll just hike on down there anyway and see if the water's working because I didn't bring any water because I wasn't planning on hiking so far today. <laughs> <laughs> I got a long trip back. Now I have no idea why there's a scooter right there. If I was a thieving person, I'd take it for a spin. <laughs> it would get me to Hollins Mill Dam a lot quicker. But I thought I'd show you just a little bit of the bike path. I'm not sure I've ever gotten this on the previous video. Uh, this is the paved bike path that goes the length of Lynchburg all the way back up to the uh, where I parked at the front of the trail. Now you can see the water's pretty stagnant here and uh, there's a dam that we're going to come up to and I'm praying, I'm praying the water fountain works because I'm about to die of thirst right now. I'm, I'm going to sit there and just stick my head in that fountain for about an hour <laughs> before I hike all the way back. But uh, but the reason why this water's stagnant is the there's a dam up here and I'm going to get that on the video. I think I have enough light for it and uh, I don't know, it's another thing I'll have to look up when I get home is what's the history of the Hollands Mill Dam and why is there a dam there? Because I don't think it was for hydroelectric purposes. Uh, so I wonder why they dammed up this creek. Uh, be, a, be an interesting factoid to, to put below in the, uh, in the description of this video. So uh, when I know, you'll know. Look in the description if you want, to, want answers to these questions, if I can find them. Hopefully there's enough light here. Uh, this is the dam from the backside. And I have seen, this was back when I was editing my book, um, and I've seen students here, you know, I would come here and sit at this picnic table and, uh, and just enjoy nature and edit the book out here on the batteries. Um, let's get a look. I did want to tell a quick story, so I'm walking along the trail and there's two Hispanic guys, and I, I was asking them if they knew whether the agua, you know, I was trying to make them understand that the water fountain, I wanted to know if the water fountain was working. <laughs> and the guy, he says, here. And he just hands me his water. I said, no, man, I don't want your water, man. I'm just wondering if the problem's working. He couldn't understand me, you know. So, but I thought that was really nice of him. Now, let's get the, let's get the dam from the other side real quick, and then I'm going to sit at this table and drink a bottle of water. Even though the fountain is working, by the way. So, if you are hiking the, uh, the trail here in Lynchburg, uh, and you get desperate for water like I was, you can come here. The nice thing is they've got a little dog bowl. I've gotten a my dog water here, so watch this. This is pretty cool. 